Righto. Jensen Plowright, welcome to Train Like a Monk. Inaugural episode. You've got a pretty illustrious uh, role of record of results, but uh, this is probably be a highlight of your career so far, I'd imagine. Oh, easily. Yep. And you uh, you put me through, you put me uh, away in a few downside sprints on the way here, but not as quick as you put away that sandwich at the Boulange <laughs> just now. That was breakfast though. Yeah. So I did clean you up pre brecky Yeah. No, we've just stopped here in Kant. Uh, at, at, had a nice Boulange stop there, and now we're stopped here in the middle of town to record a little uh, bit of how the training's been going for Jensen here. So we're at what's in what's known as Bumhole Valley. Do you want to just run us through why it's called Bumhole Valley? Bumhole Valley is just basically the arse end of Nice. Yep. And where you just don't want to be riding, really. If yep. you get a puncture, you keep riding <laughs> until you come to a safe place to stop. Yep. Now beautiful stuff. And you're training up for the Tour of Antalya next week, same as me. So uh, you've come off second at Nationals Criterium. So the form was pretty good then. What's been happening for you the last month in terms of training to get yourself ready for the start of the season with your team? I guess just... Uh adapting to the European lifestyle again, um, probably chipping off with more weight and yeah, hopefully just getting fitter and stronger. But it is just coming into the season, you're trying to feel feel as good as you can yep. and should be in the best nick possible. Yep. Most most pros in January are a bit sluggish, especially yeah. nationals. So everyone just does what they can there. And then uh, I guess February, everyone starts to switch on a bit more. Yeah. And what kind of sessions are you doing to sharpen up then for next week? So obviously there's a few sprint stages you'll be targeting. So what kind of work have you been doing to get yourself ready for them? Well, funny enough, VO2 efforts I've been doing. Yeah. Uh, maybe some longer stuff, trying to increase my um, threshold a little bit. Yeah. Uh, because the racing so hard these days, that you actually just need to come to the, the end of the race fresher yeah and actually get there as well yeah but yeah i've got some sprints coming up a few town sign sprints today so <laughs> yeah just so you know sharpen the fence a little bit now. yeah exactly and what those vo2 sessions you're doing talk us through like one of those so you have one of those the other day i think what kind of numbers are you pushing and what do the intervals look like oh i think we got i did some 40 20s uh four sets of five minutes and uh at uh 500 for 40 seconds and then recovery so maybe yeah two 250 yeah yeah nice and then <clears throat> then your easier days like today what do they look like like when you're recovering in between and leading into the race yeah i mean a few days coming into the race just to back it off a little bit a few more recovery rides less efforts uh but yeah uh yeah, just backing off the power a little bit. Hopefully, start to get the really nice sensations. Yep. Get out of that hole. Yep. And then, That's what we want. Yeah. Yeah. So part of this series is we want to look at how the pros are actually training. There's a lot of flogs or other other people on Instagram <laughs> that love saying that everyone's doing a certain thing, but wanted to show what people are actually doing out there and what kind of training the actual hitters are doing. So. So I've got Jensen on here to ask him a few questions and I'll be asking these questions to every guest that I have on the, the program. But the first one is what would be your favourite training session? Oh, shit. Uh, oh, I don't mind the... I like flogging myself a little bit. Yep. Uh, last year I had some dirty 20-seconders, uh, uh, full gas with four minutes in between or something. I was, I was getting to the spewing stage at that point. <laughs> How many of those are you doing? Oh, eight. Yeah, right. Eight 20 seconds. Yeah, and what kind of watts are you pushing for the 20? Maybe, yeah, 11, 1200. Yeah. It's, yeah, you've... Yeah, that's yeah, that's enough. That, yeah. <laughs> eight of those. So you just crawl home. Yeah. Like, yeah, I've got <laughs> easy two, uh, two hours afterwards. And you start going up the hill, you're like, oh, shit, I can't even do 250. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the same. I pulled over and just sat on my phone on, on a fence for <laughs> half an hour and just... <laughs> you know, 
Yeah, oh, and you earn the sandwich yeah. those days. Yeah. And then uh, what's your least favourite session? Oh, I don't know. I don't really. When you see something come up on Training Peaks and yeah, you just think, I don't want it. It's something you look forward to, I guess, because you yeah. always know you're going to be hurting a lot. And you have just... to hope you're on a good day when you see those yeah. on the program. And, and that's when you have like a couple of coffees before you head out the door, <laughs> make sure you're well fueled. Yeah, yeah. Some sessions you can get away with and just have like, you could probably be a little bit run down or and you can get through it. But yeah. when you've got VO2s, you've got the power set, like it's not like what you can do, it's what the coach has given you. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. But like when you've got a max effort, you're just like, oh, whatever I can do on the day, I guess yeah. that's it. But a VO2 session is something you should be able to hit. Yeah. And you'd find out exactly how you're going to go in the first uh, <laughs> first two, two intervals, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so... Going back to your favourites, what's your favourite training loop? So, obviously, we're here. We've ridden out from Nice today. We're both living here at the moment. You also spend your summer in Melbourne. So, out of either of those, which one's your favourite training loop? Oh, I guess Nice is a bit prettier. Yeah. You don't have the Burwood Highway down to <laughs> to battle every time. You you, know. Yeah. I'd take Bumhole Valley over Burwood Highway. Yeah. 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 Would. But, like, it's something like my favourite favorite session would be going down to Hawthorne Crit. Oh yeah. And then marshalling two races and racing and you get three hours and Yeah. And you don't have to put up with any cars or bike path or racing, good vibes with everyone. Yeah. I, I like that. But like riding around here, just going up and down hills, it's hard to complain about to be honest. Yeah, it's true. So are you your own favourite loop teardrop? Yeah, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> One K circuit. Yeah. So, uh, and then going back to getting the efforts done. So, uh, are you uh, get the efforts done at the start of the ride, or save them for the finish, or spread them out across the whole ride? No one likes to be thinking about the efforts for the whole ride. Yeah. You'd much prefer to just do hour, maybe an hour and a half, warm the legs up, yeah, see some rolling, wait for the sun to warm you up a little bit, yeah. And then smack them out. Maybe maybe that's like halfway. But, yeah, right. But a bit of a warm up, and then get them done. I cannot do just like hold them off until the end because it's, it's torture on the mind. Yeah. Nah. Um, and, and that period after the efforts is so nice. That you've completed them. Yeah. You just enjoy the day. The period after isn't so nice. So if you don't hit the efforts, then yeah, then, then you, you got to get through that. And, and maybe you could. Maybe you've got time to do another effort to make up for if you drop, you can try and kill yourself again. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's uh, good stuff. And then uh, with those, when you've got efforts on the ride or with any of your training, are you someone that always sticks to the plan? So you've got your training, they've put your training in training peaks, your team coach has, or do you change it up based on how you're feeling or based on the day or that kind of thing? I go off the vibe a lot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sometimes if it's just a banging day or there's a group going out and doing a long ride, I'll I'll double the time. <laughs> Within a hundred percent either way. I might do. I'll do the session. I've got the session, and then just yeah. like clock on another couple of hours. If yeah. It's right. like an amazing day, or and if the legs if the legs are rubbish, do you can it and go home, or do you just tough it out? <sighs> Probably tough it out a little bit and just suffer for yeah. as much as I can. I'm not one to just totally write it off unless unless it feels like something wrong, like you might have had a blood test in the morning or and you just feel drained or like getting run down, then I'll call it. But yeah. if it's pretty stock, I'll yeah, I always find a bit of energy somewhere. Yep. Get it done. And then we when you are out training, are you a take a stop or no stops? So whether it's bakery, cafe. I tell you what, in in Australia, it's no stops. Yeah, but when I come to Europe, <laughs> or come to me, especially with yourself. Yeah, there's been, been a few stops here. There's a few behind your I stops. think uh, last year it progressively uh, got more stop time throughout the year, and I think we just picked up where we left off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> been a lot of stop time very Maybe early in the season. An inch yeah, the that's true. Start. Yeah, and it's, when I haven't ridden with you, I've not stopped. So yeah, it's true. I think I think the stop's good for the mind. Yeah, and you can if you don't eat for you might just not eat for an hour and then you can you've yourself a 
Yeah. It all treated the belong. Yeah, that's very true. So just save up your calories, basically. Yep. Are you uh, get out early in the morning as soon as you can or pro hours? Pro hours. I used to like getting it done early. Yep. Oh, definitely during school or like you have to do it. You're also working a day job when you're back in Oz as well in yeah, the bike shops. Yes, so. it's true, it's true. But now here the sun doesn't really warm warm the place up until 10. So yeah, that has been our earliest leave time. Yeah. Thus yeah, far. it has been pro hours at and the moment. And I was, I was leaving for a five-hour ride at 2 o'clock when I was back in Oz as well. Yeah. I was so, very relaxed. Yeah. Just when it, whenever it fits. Yeah. No rush. Make it work. Yeah. It's a nice way of going about. If you got dinner at home, if mum's cooking dinner, at home, it's alright. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But when you, <laughs> no one's cooking for you. So. Yeah, that's true. Uh, if it's raining outside, pissing down, do you jump on the trainer, or do you just go out in the rain, or do you can the ride and swap it? You can check the records, but I haven't been on Swift in about four years. <laughs> you cover up, cover up the swans <laughs> here. Swan yeah. I actually haven't used. I haven't been on the ergo yet. So you just get it done in the, in the rain. Oh yeah, or swap it, swap the days around. Yeah, right. It's it's so easy just to flip a day or two. You don't won't won't affect anything too much. Yep. And morale's high because you're always riding in the sun or yeah, that's true. on the rain. Here it's a bit easier, but Melbourne yeah, you we're, get we're some. We're playing on easy mode here. Yeah, Melbourne you get some three or four day stretches, and you just yeah always cop it in the rain over the train event. Yeah, look, I actually did have a pretty good moment when I was back in Melbourne. Yeah, always raining a lot of days off or on my Rico days, so I just clock an extra hour on on other days. Yeah, take the day off. But yeah, <laughs> beautiful. And then, are you uh, do you dabble in the low carb training ever, or are you always well fueled? I have dabbled in the past and it didn't work for me. I, yeah, really battled a lot with it. Yeah, right. So now I'm like... Well, you did you did have your breakfast at the ball launch today after I 45 did. minutes. Yeah. So. It is 11 o'clock now. Yeah. So I've fasted all morning. Yeah. But yeah, I'll definitely just... You just change it a little bit uh, depending on the efforts or the ride. But yeah, now I'm I'm a fifty, sixty carb grams of carbs an hour. Yeah, right. Sort of a guy now. Yep. No. I've dabbled with the thirty and have fucked it up. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, steering clear of that. I think yeah. everyone that's dabbled has experienced that at some point. Yeah. Uh, right, and then I think I might know the answer to this one. But you a solo trainer or with a group? I don't mind the solo, to be honest. Yeah, that's that's mm. true. But riding with someone is also. Depends on depends on the legs, yeah. how you feel it. If you're by yourself and you just got shit legs, you just just can it. It's yeah. easier to can when you're solo. Yeah, but with, if you're with someone, then it's super. Yeah, it's just easy on the mind. Yeah, that's you, true. Until they start dragging you further and further away from home, and you're like, I'll just turn around and go home. Yeah, and you you have a bunchy too. Hey, yeah, proper bunchy. Don't, don't mind a bunchy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely back in Melbourne here. We don't really have. Yeah, we're, we don't have the ride. We've been trying to start a bunchy, so if you're watching and, uh, yeah. If you're in Nice. If you're in Nice. You want to ride. And you want to ride not super early, then we'll start a, start a bunchy. We've seen a few bunchies, uh, but, yeah, we haven't been invited on any yet, so no. mustn't speak enough French. And then uh, last question I got here yeah, is, what's your best piece of training advice to give someone watching? Consistency, I think, is something everyone talks about and, all the coaches want to see is just consistency in training and always getting the sessions done to the best of your ability, but but doing it day in, day out yep. and sticking to the plan and not doing a three-week block and then taking two weeks, piss farting around. So basically yeah, sticking to the program and as much as, much as I stick to a program, yep. stick to the program and get the hours done. No. Every week. Beautiful stuff. Well, good luck next week. Don't uh, take out half my front wheel this time in the sprints. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. We'll uh, hear from you later on. Hope everyone enjoyed watching and uh, we'll enjoy the rest of our ride. Cheers. That was, uh, I think that was good. I don't know how long we took. <laughs>